Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Today we are going to make a keychain using the Cleveland Browns colors. Um, lifelong fan of the Cleveland Browns, and we're going to make a helmet inspired design, but you can use any color you want. This is great for doing sports teams. You can choose any color you'd like. And you're using a very little amount of cord as well. So um, right here I have about five feet of our weaving cord that's the one that's going to go back and forth side to side horizontally now as far as the stripes go i have five different strips here and they're all about i don't know 22 inches long don't need a whole lot your longest piece is probably around six feet and that's going to be the stuff that goes around the edges of the keychain you'll see that just here in just a bit so i'm going to set my stripes off to the side and I'm going to be also grabbing a clip. And this is just a, a chip clip of sorts. Um, and I'll be using that here in just a second as well. The first thing I need to do is find the center point. So we're going to put our two ends together. And bring all of our cord through the fingers. And that's my center point. And we are going to just basically twist this cord a few times. And I'm just taking the left cord over the right cord until we have a basically a twist in here. And each one of these little loops here, we're going to be weaving between. So you can see I have about five little loops here. And we'll just finish this one off. And I'm going to clip this right where those two cross for the last time. All right. And you can see I have quite a bit of extra. We're going to use some of that, but not all of it there. So you should have something that looks like this. You should have some loops here. Going all the way down. And I'm actually going to bring in some more um, cord. Just so that these loops are a little bit more pronounced. I can use some of this cord that I have down here at the bottom. There we go. All right, so you see we have one, two, three, four, and five loops that our cord will be passing through here. Let me zoom in on here. So we're starting with our top, and we're going to start with the first color of our Browns helmet, which is our orange. And I'm using an auto autofocus on this. This is the first time I've used autofocus, so hopefully this turns out okay. Now, from the back side, you're going to go and bring it through the, through the first loop here. And you're going to have a back cord and a front cord. And you want these to be even, so you want your center point of that cord to be at the top. And basically, this is going to weave in between each one of these loops. The front cord is going to the back, and the back cord is coming up through the center. So they're kind of alternating. Now when you put the cord through the next hole here, like this, it's going to go on the left side. So you'll have something that looks like this. I know it's kind of hard with the same colors here. You'll see it better when I use the brown. Now the back cord is also coming up through the second hole here. And it's coming up through the right side. So you can see how it crossed the right side of this cord here. And each time you come up through a new hole, it's going to do that again. So these are actually going to reverse now. So we'll pull these tight just a little. We'll open up the third hole. So your right cord is now going to be your, your left cord going through the middle. And the cord in the back is coming through the middle and going off to the right. And we'll do it again. The back cord, the next hole here, up to the right. And this cord is going off to the left, down through the middle. So they're kind of twisting their way down through these holes, if that makes sense. And we got one more here. Going down through the middle to the left, and coming up through the back on the right. And that's the first stripe that we have. It's really hard to see with it just being one color. But you should be able to start to see what we're doing here with the next color, which is our brown. Um, this is actually called walnut. It's a really nice brown. 
perfect for the browns. So we're coming up through the middle, or the very first hole there. And our back one, remember, is off to the left, and our top one's off to the right. So when we go down through here, our top cord is going to the left. And you want to do this to the left side of the one that you just did. And the rear cord is coming up through the middle and off to the right. And then we open up the second hole. And you want to make sure you're to the left side of everything we just did. So create that hole on the right. Top cord goes through the hole to the left. And the rear one comes up through the right. And then we have our third hole. Now this is the fourth hole. Top one off to the left through the center and then the other one to the right. And we have our final hole here. Down through the center and off to the left and this one comes up and to the right. So you should have two cords coming off to the right and you should have two cords through the back side and off to the left. All right, and it looks like my, my orange one is quite a bit shorter on this side, which is not a big deal because we're gonna tighten this all up. And then we're gonna move to our white one. And I'm gonna do this one, and then I'll finish it up, do the other two off camera, and I'll come back to show you how to uh, tighten everything up. We wanna find our center point. Finding the center point is probably the most important part of this step, and that's just so that you don't um, have a really short one like this orange one here. Alright, so we want to move everything off to the left and open up the second hole. Our top cord is going to go down through the second hole and off to the left. And, our th and the one in the rear is coming up through the hole to the right. And then they switch and do it just like they did before. Off to the left when you go down up through the right when you come up. You want to keep everything on the, the right side. So from the bottom up to the right, well I've been doing the, the top down one first, so cross over to the left, bring this one oops, up to the right. And we'll go to the last hole here down to the left, down to the left, up to the right, just like that. So we should now have three cords coming up and three cords going down. All right, well, I'm going to do these last two stripes here off camera, like I said, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I've done the last brown and the last orange. Um, Coming up through the last loop here, we have our first orange, our brown, our white, our other brown, and our other orange. And those should look like the stripes of the helmet or whatever you're doing. That's how they should go. And then these are our two main strands that are clipped in. And then we should also have the exact same pattern, which we do, just like that, on the left side. Now we just have to tighten this up. Now I want the top to have enough room to spread out the entire five strands here. So I need to pull a little of my orange a little tighter here, or I mean a little looser to loosen this loop up, but ultimately I want it to lay flat right along the top, similar to this. And I just start pulling on these these colored stripes, just a tiny, tiny bit at a time, just to get them tight enough so that you can close that loop right along the top of itself. I'm not pulling on the outside pieces, I'm pulling on the, the stripes. So just a tiny, tiny bit at a time, just like that. And then you can start to pull this tight. 
And you want this to be a little loose because you're going to end up having to put your key ring on here. But it doesn't have to be real loose. And like I said, we're just doing a tiny, tiny bit at a time. Um, and it'll start to come together. Now we can go to our, so this is one, two, this is our third loop here. You can pull these guys tight. And you can kind of see it'll start to cinch this together. And that's all we're doing as we go. So now we can pull on our stripes again. Pull some of that slack out. And you're just tightening little by little, ever so slightly. And it'll start to come together. This takes a little bit of patience. It's kind of like doing a monkey fist. You're just tightening it up as you go. But as you go, this is going to shrink down smaller and smaller and smaller, and then your weave will really start to show. Pull these guys. There we go. And that works pretty good. You can grab the ends of these and uh, kind of pull, and it'll tighten them up a little bit too. You can see how it's kind of drawing everything down. And then you just want to keep on, you know, tightening this a little bit. Coming through here, tightening up this. You can see it's already starting to tighten up a little bit. Well, I'm going to get this nice and tightened up. Um, just take your time. There's no rush on this. Just take your time, tighten everything up. Make sure your stripes are all even. Nothing is crisscrossing where it shouldn't be. And then I'll be back once it's nice and tight, and I'll show you how to finish this thing up and get a key ring on it. Okay, so you can see I've got this nice and tight, and now what we need to do is figure out how we're going to finish this. So we have our our 10 cords that we need to finish, and JD does a very good job at finishing this. Um, I don't know that there's a better way to do it. I would love in the comments if you come up with a better way. Please put it in the comments. Um, it's it's going to get finished with a just a cobra weave. So what we're going to do, these are our main cords that go around the edges, and that's also the cord that makes our loop here at the top. So we're going to take our left one over the top and off to the right. And then we're going to take our right cord over top of that one, take it around the back, and bring it up through the loop that you created on the left, and pull this tight. And then we want to kind of cinch this up and tighten this, cinch it up, tighten it, cinch it up. And that's going to lock in all of our cords. Just like that. And we're going to do another one. So the one that went over top is our right cord now. That one's going to go over top again. The left cord will go over top of that one. Around the back and up through. Now one thing that I like to do instead of having two burn points, normally what you do is cut it here, cut this cord off, you'd have this tight, you'd cut it off here, melt it and fuse it here, and you'd do the same thing here and fuse it here. But instead of having two fuse points, what I like to do is loosen up this one here on the left so that we have our original loop here. And then the cord that you took through the back to create this loop you're just going to take this end and go down through that loop. So it's basically just kind of wrapping around the whole thing. And then you can tighten them up. That way, what you end with, once these are tight, is that you cut these here, and you have a single melted spot instead of two. And it still looks pretty good. You'll have a front and a back, of course. Um, this would probably be the back side where, you, where we're going to fuse it. Um, just make sure everything is nice and cinched up. And grab my handy dandy Fisker scissors. These are great. We just started carrying these on the website. These are the Soft Grip um, Soft Grip Handle Fiskers. Got quite a few of these in stock. Um, very, very sharp. We also have these are our base model Fiskers that we carry. 
We also have one called a razor's edge and then another one called amplify. Incredibly, incredibly sharp. These aren't as sharp as the razor's edge, but they are very sharp. So we're just going to cut these very close to where they come out at right here. And you can see they just go right through that. And then I've got my torch lighter. We're going to melt these. Oh, and you want to grab a smoothing tool. Don't forget a smoothing tool. It's one of the best tools you can have. Um, and that's going to basically flatten out our melted point here. And I can't really see the flame because of the lights that I'm using. And I ended up kind of melting a little more than I wanted there. But I used my smoothing tool to flatten everything out. Now you could leave these just how these are. They're not going to pull back in because I have this pulled really tight. Um, but I do want to cut them. I don't want them that long at all. Um, so I think I'm just going to cut them here and then let these fray out. So with my Fisker's scissors, we're just going to cut through these guys just like that. And there it is. That is our finished... Well, nope, not finished. Where'd my key ring go? Got to add the key ring. And that'll be it for this one. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to do a premiere on this one tonight. Um, and watch the video premiere with you guys. So hopefully I can get some people in the chat. There we go. Everything you see in this video, key rings, paracord, smoothing tool. Don't forget a smoothing tool. I don't have the clips on the website. I got these off of Amazon. I got 20 of them for like 10 bucks. Um, and then even the uh, torch lighters you can find on our site. Um, but there it is. The Cleveland Browns or any sports team's uh, keychain key fob. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to check us out. Boardparacord.com or on Facebook. Our group has 42,000 members in there now. Uh, check it out. It's facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen. And you can also buy paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.